Hello everyone. After a long time, I'm making a video on Sensex analysis. The last time I presented a video, it was around 16k, wherein we saw triangle breakdown, as well as explanation of the previous breakdown, which took us to 14,700. So now let us see what we are discussing out here. What we are discussing today is the formation of a triangle pattern. Now before we get into a triangle pattern, let us understand what the pattern is. Suppose if this is a triangle, which I am taking. Okay. So out here, in such a scenario, we'll consider a breakout to be taken place once it goes beyond the upper line or beyond the lower line. In such a case, the targets would be around the parallel point. This might be in case of a upper side breakout. And this might be in case of a lower side breakout. Now, in simple terms, what we would say is a triangle breakout leads to a target which is equal to the base of the triangle. Now, we have seen such formations happening in Indian markets or say Sensex for quite some time. The very first instance we saw was around in February. This is the first instance where we see it's a here we see this is a clear triangle we will try to zoom into the zone now this is the triangle formation just taking it a little sharper now if we see out here it tried to break out on the upside but could not and on the lower side it gave a breakdown in such a scenario we would expect the target to be roughly on the base of the triangle or we might take some other base which might be in between the triangle so what I do out here is I just create a parallel line which I might take it to this point which gives us a very deep target so what I do is I take the another important bottom zones and I'll just extend it this gives us a rough target now if you see in the calculation basis this low was around 16400 and the top was around 18900 so this will give us around say 2500 points of a breakdown a breakdown would be confirmed below 17300 zones or 17200 so subtracting 2500 points would give us a target of roughly around 14700 so this is where we found a low around 14700 zones so this is the first example of the triangle which we saw. Now we'll just remove those things and we'll go to the next time we saw a major triangle. Now this is the zone which was around 14,100. This is yet another triangle. If we see it on a bigger scale, we'll realize this was the one of the best times to go short because along with a triangle pattern, what we see out here is a head and shoulders pattern. This would be your head, your shoulder, your shoulder. Now this is very simple to understand the head and shoulder pattern if you just put yourself in, fr in the mirror. Okay, so this was discussed yes, yet again in one of my previous video wherein we advised to go short at 14,100 for a minimum target of 13,100 and we ended up going all the way to 12,500. So these are the two major instances on Sensex charts wherein we saw a breakdown and a fall. Apart from that, there was yet another trend line breakout which I would like to discuss. And this was the time wherein I gave my Sensex analysis which was the first video. Now 
this was a clear cut channel if we say see it out here it's a clear cut parallel channel now out here in the month of june i had a video wherein we presented what happens after a triangle which was the earlier instance out here and later on i mentioned about a breakdown if it goes below 16500 16800 16500 16100 as the last points to exit and it was a very clear view to take an exit from markets and wait for lower levels so if we see out here there's a clean 3 to 4 bottoms around this channel a breakdown below which necessarily would lead to a good enough sell off so this is what we had in the past in our next video we would see what is the current pattern and what could be the implications so out here we understood what is a triangle pattern what would be the targets and another point to notice while going through a triangle pattern we need to keep a check on the volumes because they are one of the major indicators of a breakout or a breakdown so what we'll see is if we see a breakdown with volumes it implies a larger sell off or a confirmation so if we see out here there was a slack in volumes and a higher change in volumes when we fell down out of this channel so this led to a much larger sell off so keep a watch on volumes while looking towards triangle if there is a breakout if volumes are supporting you would see a much bigger move which would eventually target the base of the triangle so hope i have cleared what are triangles and what sort of patterns simpler patterns which we had seen on sensex in the next video we will try to cover the current pattern and what are the other implications if the pattern goes well so thanks a lot see you next time